<laughs> so another reason why I love chops and why for a certain amount of time I did get annoyed. There was a thing on, on social media, like, I don't know when it was, probably like a couple of years ago, when I feel like it, a lot of people gave chops a bit of stick. Like, oh, yeah. that's that. Like you said, that will get you fired. It's like, what? No, no. Um, but anyway, what, the, one of the reasons why I love chops and why I actually stand by them, especially for practicing them and learning them, is it makes you just, it makes my doubles better, cleaner. It yeah. gets my like dynamics better. It works on technique, overall technique. I mean, getting doubles out mm -hmm. on floor toms and toms in general, and then Oof. moving around the kit. Like honestly, learning chops made me a, a way better drummer, man. Way better. Hundred yeah. percent. And I've always been of the opinion like. <laughs> to those people that say that'll get you fired, chops are pointless, you got to focus on groove. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No one said you shouldn't focus on groove. Yeah. But why are you so against me having fun on the drum set? This is fun. Mm -hmm. Like, it's cool to learn something fast that sounds amazing on the drums. And why is that such a bad thing? So it's like, look, I I'm sorry, but <laughs> if somebody drops some deep groove, with nothing going on, just uh, ka, uh, ka. it's you know it's it's not the most fun thing to watch unless there's music accompanying it, but on its own, or unless you're studying one of the greatest masters of all time. But people always say like, oh well, you know Nate Smith, he's all about groove. And I'm like, have you ever transcribed that? That guy's busier than Thomas Lang. Yeah, like it demon, just has yeah. pocket. Yeah, it has deep pocket to it. So you can have chops that have pocket. You can have a consistent backbeat. You can take the choppy part and bring the dynamics of it down and then take the groove part and bring the dynamics up so the groove stands out above the chops. But I think for all of us, the biggest thing is, you know, this is a little off topic, but when it comes to should you practice chops, should you not, you should be happy on the drum set. If the drum set is always homework to you or always what you're not supposed to do, why even do it? Mm. I can't even imagine having something in my life where 90% of what I did was trying to remember what I'm not supposed to do. That yeah, sounds terrible. I know, I meant exactly. And also, like, you need those things to make you realize that you're getting better and, it, and things sound good. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. a chop, when you, when you nail, like, a chop that you've been practicing and you move it around the kit and it's slightly faster than you just played it or you figure out a new movement or a new placement and you go, flipping out. that was me. I, th I just played that. I have a question for you. Yeah, go on. I just saw your most recent story of you boxing. Oh, yeah. I My initial thought is, if things ever got a little squirrely between me and Ed, <laughs> my only option is to pepper spray him. <laughs> because it looked, it looked like you could fight pretty well. No, but I don't mate. want to be a part of it. No, you know what but, it is. You know what it is, right? You know what it is. It's the equivalent of someone doing loads of tricks with like a, f a football or a soccer ball but then versus in a match, playing soccer yeah it's okay so that's my thing about chops though it's like just because you did all that stuff on a punching bag it doesn't mean you leave boxing and go try to fight someone <laughs> it's like okay this gives me more confidence in my life because i'm doing this it makes me a fitter individual in general and the next time someone wants to try to fight me I'm so confident in the fact that I can do this, I can actually walk away. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my chops give me the confidence to go, uh, ka, uh, shaka doom, and be stoked on it because I know that I can play chops. And I don't know, I think I'd have more imposter syndrome playing Pat Boone, Debbie Boone, if I didn't know any chops because I would feel like, oh, this isn't cool enough. But since I can do all these other things, it's showing that, well, Pat Boone, Debbie Boone is a choice because I could have played. It was kind of like Phil Collins in the in the air tonight, Phil. He could have played anything in the world. He chose to play that. But that's after he had shown the world in Brand X that he was an amazing fusion drummer. It's after early Genesis where he's showing that he's an amazing prog drummer. And he's like, yeah, I've, I've done it all. By the way, here's what you get. Shadum, 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 cat, cat. And it was beautiful. So... I think that I don't think it's a bad thing to practice chops whatsoever.